Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another Easter card. A beautiful scenic card with the Easter bunny, my umbrella dies, a beautiful butterfly sticker, and a popped up sentiment. Here on the inside and my little eggs at the bottom. And this rainbow paper is from my latest Echo Park collection. But since I had all my supplies out, I went ahead and started a second one. I cut out everything I needed to make a second card that will look very similar. So let's get started on this. Okay, I'm going to stamp the inside of the card first. This is the sentiment I used before. It's a set from Stampendous. Every bunny loves some bunny. Or, no, everybody needs some bunny. Sorry. Everybody needs some bunny sometime. And we are going to do that in Rococo Rose. Perfect. Now I'm going to do my little Easter eggs. I've got one bigger one here that's going to go in the middle. And this was from this set here. I cannot tell where it's from, but I got it on Amazon. I have two little eggs, and so I'm going to be stamping the bigger one in the middle. And I used purple, so I'll be using purple for that. Perfect Easter color. And what colors did I use? I used turquoise and then watermelon wonder for the other two. Of course, you can make them any color you want. And since I have these out already. Let's do watermelon wonder first and then clean it off. stamp cleaner. This is my handmade, homemade stamp cleaner. It's recipes online. And turquoise. This is the greatest part about this die. This is exactly eight and a half inches which means it will fit this it fit this four and a quarter piece i just had to trim a little bit because i layered i layered it so i'll show you how i did that so i'm going to put this together offset it just a little bit i think this is pretty peacock and this is garden green and then i'm going to put the other piece up a little higher behind it like so. 
So it's going to need a little bit of trimming at the end. But I'll do that after after I put it on the, the base. The grass wasn't as high as I wanted it, so I just layered it. Now let's go ahead and put this beautiful rainbow paper. It's going to cover it up a little bit, but I think it, it gives a little more interest than if I just put this on by itself. Don't you think? Okay, so let's put, and I, I did this with my embossing folder. I thought it was appropriate for umbrellas. And I made the umbrellas a few videos ago. I'll be glad to link that in the card. So let's... Okay, let's go ahead and start constructing the front here. Let's go ahead and put this on the base. Correction. I learned my lesson from the last one. The inside has been stamped, so there's no worries about me messing anything up. Ha! Knock on wood. All right, so let's make sure I put it correctly, right side up. There we go. So it pretty much covers the front. All right. So let's put the grass on first, our layered pieces. Then I will show you how I'm going to trim that. Okay. Now I'm not going to cover up the rainbow. I'm going to put it right at the bottom of our cloud piece. I'm going to center it. And there's a little bit there to trim. I'll let this dry first and then we'll trim it off. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the umbrella in. It's not totally glued down. The grass pieces aren't totally gl glued down, which I think makes for a little interest in dimension. I will glue the umbrella right there. I didn't glue the end of this, did I? these. Let's see, where was it? There it is. Okay. I'm going to use my little foam tape bits that I got from, you can see where I made a mistake here, from Dollar Tree. And I will put that on here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and stick our bunny in there. Now I have, as I showed you before, I have five bunnies and I'm, I keep them together and just cut them out of one piece of white. So I have several at a time. So we're gonna squeeze this little guy in like so. Is that cute? And I'm gonna glue, go ahead and glue the top because he pretty much wedges in at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do, use our flowers. 
I got these on sale, scrapbook.com. Very cute. And then these, these are just leftovers from my stash. I'm just gonna glue them straight down. One on either end of the umbrella. And then we'll put the littler one in the middle. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Now, I also had these left over in my stash. I hadn't used them and hadn't used them. I have some small ones that I can use. So, I'm going to choose this little guy. and Push him right here. Like so. Cute. Now, I'm going to apply. Wishing you Easter happiness. Popped up on foam tape. Wishing you Easter happiness. We're going to cut off these. And there we have it. Two cute Easter scenes for the price of one, really. If you already have your supplies out, why make one when you can make two? Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter, everybody. Bye-bye.